hi my country people welcome back to my channel and i just like to thank you for liking commenting and sharing subscribing my previous videos yeah i'm going to talk to you about uh, coronavirus and pregnancy there are just some questions that i've come across and i feel like i should address that the first one are pregnant women more susceptible to coronavirus so right now i'd say there's very little evidence available to show that pregnant women right now are more susceptible to developing coronavirus or getting coronavirus as compared to their non-pregnant female counterparts. But if we look at the studies from SARS and MERS, which are different types of coronaviruses that have been there before, we can see that pregnant women were more susceptible and they were even developing complications. So then, take care of yourself. Then, should I attend all my antenatal clinics? Yes. So you should just uh, go see your gynecologist and let them uh, look at your baby, how your fetus is developing, and you have no reason not to go for your antenatal clinic. So if you're infected and uh, you're asking yourself, um, I'm infected with coronavirus, should I, at should I even attend all my antenatal clinics? First of all, if you're pregnant and if you're infected with coronavirus, sorry, Mostly you'll be in a quarantine hospital like Mbagathi in Kenya, for example. And then um, your gynecologist and your doctor will be able to advise you accordingly as you are in the facility. Then, what should I do if I think I may be exposed or show symptoms? So if you think you have been exposed to someone or show symptoms, generally this applies to everyone. Uh, maybe you have cough, difficulty in breathing, fever, the classic symptoms. So you should call, there's a number that you should call for the Ministry of Health. I'll link it down below so that you can be able to access it. And if you're pregnant, make sure you inform your gynecologist. Tell your gynecologist like, hey, this is the, these are the signs and symptoms that I'm experiencing. What should I do? They'll be able to advise you accordingly. Can the virus cause miscarriage, preterm births or birth defects? So right now there's very little evidence uh, to show that actually the virus can interfere with the baby. Um, what I'd say is just be extra careful so as not to expose yourself. But if we look at the SARS and MERS, I'll link the studies uh, in the description box. We can see that the coronavirus responsible for the MERS and the SARS cause uh, premature births and some birth defects to the fetus. Yeah. Can the virus be transmitted from mother to child? So right now also there's very little evidence to show that actually coronavirus can be passed from mother to child. But there are these studies uh, done in China where there were 33 women and three, three babies were born. Actually three babies tested for coronavirus. I'll link also below so that you can have a look at that so but the thing is they do not know whether the fetuses acquired the coronavirus when they were in the uterus or when they had been born because usually when someone when the baby is born there's usually the contact between the mother and the child so there's no conclusive evidence also uh, from studies they on, on those Chinese they did okay there were no coronaviruses detected in uh, breast milk, amniotic fluid and other maternal samples, even the cold blood, the umbilical cold blood. So there's very little evidence and right now they're saying it's highly unlikely. But as the information comes, I'll keep on updating you. Then, um, should I best breastfeed my child if I have coronavirus? Yes, you should. Uh, breastfeeding generally, even if you look at uh, <coughs> patients who are HIV positive, they're usually told to breastfeed their babies because of the importance of breastfeeding. It will help your baby to fight other infections. So yes, you should breastfeed your baby, but there are precautions you should take. First of all, you wear a mask, and then if you're too sick, you can give someone else to. You can express your milk, and then you give the milk to a healthy person so that they can feed the baby. Also, make sure you wash your booby and say booby, yeah, or breast, make sure you wash it with soap and water before you breastfeed your baby. Then, should I practice skin-to-skin -skin contact with my child? Yes, you should. If you're coronavirus positive, you should practice that because of the benefits. But also practice, wear a mask, 
then practice hand hygiene, practice cough hygiene so that you can prevent your baby from getting the virus. What precautions should I be should I observe if I'm discharged? Yeah, so you've been in hospital, maybe your coronavirus positive and you're heading home. So um, right now I've not seen uh, reinfections occurring, but this is what you should do. There's a chance of a reinfection occurring. This is what you should do. First of all, um, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice social distancing, sanitize, disinfect all the surfaces when you go home and limit the amount of the number, sorry, the number of people who are coming to um, visit your child. Then, should I take my child for vaccination? Yes, of course you should. Vaccines are very, very important and they save lives. So if you've given birth, make sure you follow up with your pediatrician so that you can take your child for immunization. Should all pregnant women be screened for COVID? So right now what is happening if you're pregnant and you're showing symptoms, that's when you're screened for, or you're actually tested for coronavirus. Because I think we have limited uh, test kits, but I feel like, yeah, pregnant women should be screened for that and even everyone. I think that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. And if you have any other questions, if you're pregnant, you can reach me out and leave my Instagram and leave my Facebook. You can just leave a comment in the comment section and then I'll be able to respond. Yeah. Also, if you have other information with regards to pregnancy and COVID, please let me know so that I can be able to update. Thank you so much and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.